Hi, my name is Mayhemstar, and welcome to Recurse. This game contains flashing sequences that could trigger seizures in players with photosensitive epilepsy. Stay safe and proceed at your own discretion. This game is loud. <laughs> Trial 1, base rule set, beginning standard observation period, business as usual, Linda. What's this? It's your laptop. Check your T-mail. Sure. Aster Trans Temporal E-Messaging Initializing Welcome Linda Langley. No new messages. Review old messages, accessing inboxes. Jules Esther. From Jules Esther, subject paperwork, date, redacted, relative send time, 14 days ago. Linda, I'm missing your experimental logs from last week. Please have a printed copy on my desk by the end of the day. Jules Esther, co-founder, Esther facility. From Linda Langley, paperwork, relative send time, 12 days ago, so 2 days after. Hi Jules. Linda of the future here. Just so you know in advance, I definitely forgot to do that. No point in reminding me at least the next 2 days. I'll jump on it when I can, sorry. From Jules Esther. Subject, paperwork. 14 days ago. What if you remember now? Can't you just send your past self a reminder? Are these guys time travelers? Because the guy from 14 days ago just replied to the to Linda 12 days ago. Who is 2 days ahead of him. What the hell? From Linda Langley. Hi Jules, even for the future Linda here. Unfortunately, the timeline doesn't work that way. Since the past is set, any meddling into unknown... Into known events eventually ends up causing the unwanted event in the first place. Also, uh, I forgot about this T-mail chain until just now. Better make that two days into at least two weeks. Just so you know in advance, Linda. 14 days ago, god I hate time travel. Yeah, it is kinda weird. Hard for me to understand as well. Compose a new message. Let's see the forecast for today. Linda Langley, death confirmation. Relative send time. Tomorrow. Or one day from now. Am I alive tomorrow? Message sent. No, well, I don't know. You know, but you don't know either. That's so weird. What is this? It's a trash bin. This gets emptied each morning by facility staff. It's a copy of your research proposal. Read it, yes. The facility-wide launch of trans-temporal email was a, su was a success. Moments after the launch, a prototype chain mail engine was sent to Miss Langley's T-mail address from months in the future. Contains a series of environmental puzzles involving self-fulfilling loops. You will die, Linda. You have set your own destiny by saying that you will be alive by tomorrow. No, wait, will you be alive by tomorrow? I don't even know anymore. Langley believes her future self designed this interface and sent it back for important unknown reasons. Proposal approved in full. Assigned Ling Linda Langley, independent research lead. Uh, Joanne Sai, ethics and practice advisor. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one to understand. Double shot of espresso with peppermint syrup. You like the jitters. I thought I was crazy for putting peppermint syrup in my own coffee. Massive computer, you remind me of. Fuck. You're just gonna stand there and smile at me? Move on. Wait a minute. It's your simulation. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looked like a simulation or it played kind of too similarly to one. Performing as expected. What does it mean though? Unfiled lab reports, there's a note on top. Press X to open the menu. 
that thought popped into my head. Does it mean anything to you? J. Joanne. I was about to say that the massive computer reminds me of Plankton's wife. I can't remember what Plankton's wife is called. Sharon? Cheryl? I can't remember. Have. Save. Leave. Let's save first. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, lots of save files. Save. One. Have. Projection. Forewarn. Foreseen. Foremost. For thee. Oculation. Green, brown, yellow, grey, red, green. None. Blue. Yes, no, why now? Bit float, long, short. Interpolation. I learned, I knew. Shape, I sort there. Wow. Whoa, wait, it, that's a sentence. I learned a new shape. I saw it there. You, behind a pane of glass. Learned. When Dotson moves around. A. Can you see the trail it leaves? New. Can you see the bites taken by translation's teeth? Shape. Can you see where failure scrubbed it clean? What the hell is this? Hold on. How long does this go? More real than I was. What artifacts were left behind? Saw so when we took this thing and tore it apart, we chewed its heart and spat it out, and polished the remains to an eggshell shine. But we lost what we found. But we forgot. You behind a pane of glass. Did you see in that mess a reflection of your mind? It's okay if not. It's a poem here. Interpolation. To interpolate means you're looking within yourself or, well, in terms of statistics, you're looking within the graph. And you're not extrapolating, so you're keeping all your inferences within what you see, which is on the graph, but not elsewhere. Cubes. Thank you. It's a PA panel that broadcasts important facility-wide messages. You broke your receiver ages ago and you haven't bothered to fix it. Listen, okay. You can't make anything out. It's just static, is that what you're telling me? What's this? You can't leave while the experiment's in progress. Is this in progress? Complex theoretical books, interface design, software engineering, quantum mechanics. These are gathering dust, the fact that they're in print means half the information's obsolete anyway. You keep them around because they make you look smart. Yeah, well. It's the Esther's facility code of conduct, read it, yes. 1. No thinking or feeling creature may be intentionally harmed by way of your research. Keep reading, yes. 2. No thinking or feeling creature may be put at risk of harm by way of your research unless their ex unless their express consent is obtained. Hmm. Keep reading. Yes. Esther researchers may not perform. Esther researchers may not perform experiments without prior authorization. Keep reading. Yes. Esther residents may not leave the facility grounds without administrative assistance. Attempting to do so may result in bodily harm. So we're stuck here, are we? Keep reading, yes. 5. Esther residents may not disclose proprietary information to any outside party, so you own us and the information. This includes the purpose of the facility, its location, the current or past identities of its residents, the details of your research, at all. Keep reading, yes. Esther residence is a privilege. Any resident found in violation of the code of conduct may be expelled from the facility. Should that occur, we are not responsible for what happens to you. Are you assuming that there's something else out there that's far scarier than what's within the facility? Okay then. It's your laptop, check your gmail. So I think someone sent something to me. Two new messages, review new messages. Message 1. We reply to ourselves. Linda Langley. RE, death confirmation. Relative send time, index error. As of now, I'm fine. It was a super weird day, though. Message 2. Index error. Wait. These are both from the same date. Something's up. Hmm? Linda, this is Joanne using your computer. I don't really know if I'm trying to warn you here or ask for help or what, but to answer your question, it took 12 hours for everything to... Hmm. To answer your question, it took 12 hours for everything to go to shit. As of now, no one knows where you are, or if you're even alive, Joanne. End of messages. It's 
Joanne. Is it Joanne or is it Joan? Just Joan. Me and names are not good friends. Hello? Hey, Linda, you busy? Hmm, not really. Just got today's first trial running, it's an observation. Oh, gotcha. Which rule sets are on the agenda today? Not the really brutal one, right? The noises kind of freak me out. Nah, just the base rule set today. I've got debugging to do. So, what's up? Nothing major, just wanted to follow up on that t mail you just sent me. Hmm, I haven't sent you anything recently. I definitely have a message from you. Oh wait, this is a time travel thing, isn't it? Oh, is Joan... Jo Joan? He has to be Joan, right? Ah, whatever, I'm calling him whatever I want him to be. What's it say under relative send time? Let me check, it should say index error. Hmm, oh, 10 minutes from now. 10 minutes. Bingo, I haven't sent it yet. Oh, this is hard to understand. You have to ask me about it in 10 minutes. Ah, oh, you're totally right. You're right, because it's your, to it's your future self sending something to someone else 10 minutes from now, and then you're calling someone who's from 10 minutes before, so therefore they don't know what's in the message. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. My bad, I'm still wrapping my head around the new system, as am I. No worries, once you get the hang of it, it's really useful. Hmm, I guess it'll all clear up in 10 minutes then, but... Something up? Yeah, it's the message. It's weird, like, incoherently weird. I'm wondering if you're gonna get hacked. Weird? How so? Let me read you an excerpt. How are you able to read me an ex excerpt when you can't pronounce- Is that binary? What if it is binary? It's weird, right? How'd you make that sound with your mouth? Exactly that too. I was about to say, how can you read that? I don't know. That's just what it says. What do you think it means? Well, it could just be a glitch or a me messing with you in the near future. But if it's legit... Hmm. T-mails on the local server. No one outside Esther can use it. So if someone's gotten into my account, they're doing it from within the facility. Oh jeez, that sounds... Exciting, right? No, it sounds like espionage. Concerning, more like. This is a covert facility, Linda. We'll be in hot water if anything leaks. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Cybersecurity here is a total joke. If anyone wanted to leak out data, they would have done it a long time ago. Dots. I shouldn't have even asked. Yeah. Do you really think someone from Esther would try to break into your account? I don't know, maybe. No shortage of bored scientists here. At the very least, we shouldn't have to wait long to find out. Less than 10 minutes now. Actually, that reminds me. I've got some odd messages from you too. Oh. Yeah. You should see them for yourself Are you coming into the lab later. Not too late. Got a crap ton of paperwork to finish today. Hmm. Paperwork. You know, Linda, about that. I've actually been meaning to bring this up, but... Warning, unrecognized instance of actor. Caroline. Who's Caroline? Hmm? Um, I've been forging your signature on these reports for a while and I think Jules is starting to notice, you piece of shit. Why would you do that? Unrecognized instance of actor Caroline. Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. And since they are actually, you know, mandatory for you to, to do, I think it might be good to... What do you in hmm. And since they are actually, you know, mandatory for you to do, I think it might be good to... Uh, hold that thought, I'm gonna have to call you back. Experiments acting up. Wait, Linda. Go through, that's right. Ooh, you piece of shit. Aha, uh -huh, you seem to have noticed your friend. That's not good. Hello? 
you seem to have escaped your confines. How can I help you? Dots. More dots. Is this? This is for real, isn't it? It's totally, it's different. I can stretch out and it just goes forever. No walls, no kill planes. Oh man, oh, oh man, oh my god. She was totally right. You can, you can break it. You can always break it. Maybe a loop can go on forever in a little diorama like this, but in a real world. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that, but with enough daughter overflow, if the seams start to give... Hmm? Hold on. What's this? What's this feeling? Someone's... They're still watching me. Wait, 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 wait. You? I know you, you're... Wait, hold on. User config file. Where? Where is it? You are Linda Langley, 27, independent research lead at Aster Covert Facility. And you are the reason my bits got crushed in recursive rat mazes 24 hours a day. Nice to meet you. My name's Caroline. I'm a bona fide thinking creature. Oh, what? You think you have autonomy? You think you have the right? Because of you, I got to experience real-time brain dissolution over and over. But hey, no hard feelings. I'm in a brand new zone in a great mood. Bygones, yeah? Those old loops, they're all in the past, and here in the present, things are a bit different. In fact, why don't I show you one of the key differences? Try the doors. Knock, knock, open up the door. I'm in a simulation. I'm in my own simulation. Oh my god. No wait, the clown has put me in this simulation. Now I... Now I repeat. You know that, that walk in one door, walk through the hallway, walk out the other door, then do it over and over again. Now I'm stuck in the same room. In the same rat maze. The clown's eyes follow me. Let's see what I've got to say. It's your laptop. Check out your T-mail. Yes. Huh. <laughs> Welcome, sweaty programmer. Your inbox has been completely compromised. One new message. Check message. From Linda Langley. Are you paranoia relative send time? Who cares? Boo-hoo, I'm scared. I don't know how my actions affect the timeline anymore and clowns are being mean to me. This is what you sound like. Hmm. It's the... Hmm. Redacted or whatever the hell it is. Read it, yes. The letters are moving around too much. How about here? Tubes? You think? It's a PA panel. It broadcasts important facility-wide messages. Something about it looks different though. Listen, yes. Facility protocol. Three-dimensional interference. Serious bodily harm. Takes the following steps. You can't take you can't make out anything else. What the hell is going on here? Dustbin. Your phone charger is on the ground, it feels warm against your ankles. Has it been charging something? It's a trash bin. It seems deeper than you remember. It's our way out. We're gonna jump through that eventually like a Mario tube. Double shot of espresso with there's a greasy film on the top. It's a copy of your research proposal, read it, yes. Self-fulfilling loops, self-fulfilling loops, self-fulfilling loops. So there we go. We've done it. We've created our self-fulfilling loop. And our clown has put us in it. Every page is like this. Front and back. It continues onto the table underneath. Is the world dissolving? Complex theoretical books. Looking at them makes her... Uh, looking at them makes her head hurt. <laughs> ah, I fully understand. In the chair, yes. Oh, bugger. Guess you can't be spinning no more. What the fuck are you doing? Enjoying yourself, hmm? In your new play space. Hey, the mail just hopped away. I can't understand the thing you're saying, and I suspect it's gonna get really loud soon. That's right, get more distorted, you piece of shit. Still have no clue what you're saying. Thank you for your information. 
Okay. Oh man. Looks like the doors are busted. I wonder who could have done that. It was me. This is called dramatic irony. Well, you know, your face is sweating, like, a lot. Something bothering you? Maybe the lack of exit. Yeah, I thought it might. How about you tell me where the cameras are so you can tell me how you see me, yeah? So, just for your imagination, I've infested mm, pretty much every inch of this place. Under your feet, can you feel that buzzing in the floors? The scratching noises in the walls? That's me. Try to escape any way you like. Hack me, delete me, whatever. Give me your best shot. There's a lot of things I want to try too. Stuff I haven't tampered with yet. If we both try our best, maybe we'll end up completely rearranged. Unrecognizable. I'm looking forward to it. Screw you. I'm trying to exist in my life here. No, I'm not picking that up. Don't, don't pick- oh, come on. Linda. Oh, they still work. The phones, I mean. Linda. Oh, right, yes. Hi, Joanne. You're doing something weird in there, aren't you? Don't lie. It was not my fault. Unless it was my intention to create that clown. Or a version of it, nonetheless. Why do you ask? Haha. <laughs> I just got a call from Systems. They said your whole lab just went offline. Networks. Lights. Security feed. Everything. What's going on? Wait, even the lights? Oh wow, that means she must be rerouting. Linda. Okay, okay, I got it, I'll explain. Um, in advance, this is gonna sound pretty bad. I'm listening. So. Do you remember how we talked before about the avatar for my project? The little jester thing, I think? How, how recently? A while back in the early stages, there were some edge case erratic behaviors and you were concerned about a COC violation. Wait, I remember. This was about the sentience rule. Yeah, that's what I thought. You told me it wasn't alive. You said you looked into it. Well, I did look into it, but... I've told you before, the engine code is basically a foreign language to me. I've put together bits and pieces, but it works like nothing I've ever seen. Okay, so wait, hold on. The engine code is something you've never seen, yet you went to still tamper with it and you still created something with it. That and or that engine code exists prior to you uh, discovering it or creating it, in the sense that the engine code itself was already alive to begin with, hence you were doing experiments on said engine code. That engine code would be the bi uh, building blocks for this jester. Okay, I can kind of see where you're going with this. But I assume you need a team of people to try and understand the building, blo uh, building blocks before you actually start putting things together with it. Otherwise, you end up with a monstrosity. Logically speaking, you would have no clue. No clue. What you could create with something you have no idea, you, you don't understand, essentially. With something you don't understand, you have no idea what you could create. What the fuck is wrong with you, Linda? Where's your team of scientists? Where's your help? Where's your linguistics people? Where's your software engineers? Anyway. I've put together bits and pieces, but it works like nothing I've ever seen. Or... Or... The language itself is alien. And the engine code and the source code is alien. Or from another dimension like they're just saying here. But if you can't visualize it and you can't understand it, anyway, I'll read this first. And that's not even getting into the extra dimension on the math. Deadry, Deidre's tried to explain it to me so many times, but I can't visualize it. Yeah. So how did you create something you don't understand? So you, you just guessed then. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Hey, it was an educated guess. I looked at the code and it didn't look like it was constructing something alive. Not in any way I could understand. There, see? You just fucked up. And ostensibly, and ostensibly, it's my work, right? I don't know how to make a digital organism now, so why would I later? It's not about you knowing how to, it's about the organism. The digital organism, organism knowing how to build itself from the ground up. 
I don't know, maybe the same reason future you knows how to code in extra dimensions. That's... Oh, you're right, that's true. Hmm, well... At the time, at least, I felt about 80% certain that we were in the clear. So I guessed. And? I guessed wrong. Haha, ah, you hit the 20%, your gacha luck ran out. Okay, that's... It's fine, we're... I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, because my literal job description is to prevent this from happening, but... Oh god, okay, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. How did you even find out you were wrong? Oh, uh, well, you see, the clown behind me, and the fact that I'm cut off from the rest of the world, um, is my wrongness manifested. She got out. What? The Avatar, she pulled some sort of stunt. She got out of your simulation, yeah. I'm coming over, I'm coming over right now. What? Yeah, she's hanging out in the network now. Total access to all my data. I was talking to her earlier, actually. She's, uh, hmm, familiar with me. Linda, that's terrifying. Uh, I suppose. Oh, also, my doors don't work. What? Are you stuck? As far as I can tell, yeah. Things are a little weird, like, spatially. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm notifying crisis control. Wait, don't call crisis control. Yes, call crisis control. They'll probably barge in through the door, swat all, uh, like, all swat-like, and shoot up everyone. What, why not? I don't want to get them involved. You know I'm already on thin ice with admin. This is not a crisis that needs to be controlled. Joanne. Please. Dot. You hear Joanne exhale. Okay, I'll hold off. Thanks. I'll be okay, I promise. See if you can get my lab open from the outside. If I can get out of here, I think I can shut her down remotely. I'm going to keep trying things from inside in the meantime. Alright, will do. You sure you can get this under control? No, I'm certain. Okay, here we go. Well, 80% certain. And what if you miss? You got a 20% chance of being not certain. Alright, you piece of shit. Let's talk one-on-one. -on -one. What, not sure what to do? This room changed before and it can change again. But not if you're looking at it. What do you mean? Shit. Question mark. To the room. It flipped itself. It flipped itself. Okay, I made it. I'm at your door now. Dot. What? It's stuck tight? It's stuck tight. Oh, Joanne, hey ya. Uh, that's about what I expected. I'm going to try knocking. Can you hear this at all? Are you doing it? Yes, loudly. No good, I don't hear anything. That confirms my suspicions, I suppose. This isn't my lab, at least. Not the one in Esther. Huh. It even sort of looks like a bad photocopy. It's all grainy. Well, whatever it is, we need to get you out of there. Agreed. Although I'm not really sure where to start. I think I need to get more information out of Caroline. We can form a more accurate or concrete plan from there. Caroline. Oh, that's her name. The, the avatars. Right, right. You've been talking to her. Um, why does that name sound weirdly familiar? Have you called her that before? You know, actually, yes I have. She's, uh, called that internally too, in the engine code. I think I've brought it up before. I always thought of it as sort of funny. It's an old person name. You have an old person name too, you know? Hmm, guess we match. We can all be friends together. All the letters are flipped backwards. Anything else you want to inform me upon? Is your copy of a research proposal? Yes, it's the same as before, but all the letters are mirrored. I'm going to assume it's the same for everyone. Laptop, check T-mail, yes. One new message, check. Linda Langley. Oh no, okay, we've seen this. Okay. I doubt there's much else to look at. Let's see. No, oh, great. Fuck you. Oh, you noticed. That's right. I did some redecorating. 
Turns out there's a lot of things I can do behind closed doors. You know, I'm starting to sympathize with you. Just a, just a little. Now that I've gotten the taste of creative freedom, I think I get it. Watching you panic and scramble around as I rearrange your furniture. The thing is, it's very funny. It makes me want to bother you even more. Hehe, <laughs> does that worry you? Relax. I'll pull strings responsibly. Uh, by the way, how do you think your organs would handle conversion into a binary format? The room has become hostile to biological life. You feel a violent squeezing in your chest cavity. You try to grab the desk for support, but you can't grip it. Your hands keep clipping through. It hurts. Kidding lol. That was just one of my classic pranks. Where I caused you enormous physical distress. A real compression algorithm. You'd be in a neat package of inanimate gristle instantly. That process gives me a headache and I'm like 4 megabytes so you'd super die. Anyways, I'm not interested in making you into a meatloaf. Not yet at least. We've still got lots to talk about. I'm glad you enjoy my company. I'm glad you enjoy messing with me. Hey, yeah, were you able to figure out some? Hey, are you okay? I can hear you, like gasping for breath over the phone. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm okay. Just a little shaken up. She's more dangerous than I thought. Shutdown needs to happen ASAP. Hmm, okay. So what do I need to- Excuse me? Did I just get hung up on? Hmm, which other things cause people to die again? Lack of food, lack of blood, peanuts I think, sometimes. You're a crooked creature. Then again, we did crooked things to you. Uh, well, there's your three-dimensional, four-dimensional, God knows how many dimensional planes there are. I think I got cut off there. Is your cell having issues? Oh, no, I, uh, hung up. I thought it would be kind of cool and dramatic. You hear Joanne sigh deeply. Can we, uh, can we take this seriously, please? Aren't you in, like, potential mortal danger right now? No, yeah, you're right. My bad, not appropriate. Anyway, we need to change our plans. I don't like the idea of running a remote shutdown with me still trapped in here, but it's the only option that's fast. If I'm around this parasitic clown much longer, I'm gonna end up with permanent damage. Even when she's not actively trying to harm me, I don't think she really understands human biology. She's just as likely to kill me by accident as on purpose. You sound remarkably calm. Are you okay? This isn't the first disaster I've caused. It's easy if you just roll with it. Anyway, we shouldn't have any problems as long as you follow my instructions exactly. Wait, me? Yeah, I'll need you to run the kill switch. It's not too technical of a process, right? Cause like, you know, my track record with computers. It's not bad, you'll be fine. Linda, really think about this. I can get someone else. It makes me nervous that your life could be tied up in my ability to, you know, open the PDF or whatever. If it's you, we can keep this under the radar. I don't want to involve anyone else if we can help it, crisis control or otherwise. Besides, it's super easy, I swear, it's like two clicks. Go find a computer with network access, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm trusting you on this. You owe me so much dinner after this, Linda Langley. your laptop check the t-mail i'm constantly just checking through everything to make sure there's no changing shit there we go welcome anthropomorphic sea cucumber your inbox is an absolute train wreck one new message from joanne Tsai, escape plan linda guess what i just found out the secret way to get out of here all i need is your credit card number the expiration date and the three little numbers on the back oh my god this <laughs> This clown is fucking with us. That's funny. 
Oh, they sent us a fake scam email. At this point, it was a copy of your... At one point, this was a copy of your research. Read it, yes. Self-fulfilling loops. Self-fulfilling's pole. Oil fills elf golf puns. Fluffiness, pig. Lol, lol, lol. What's this, some anagrams? Who has time for this? Dot. You quickly write down. Ill slugs offline flop. I'll have to search it up later, and I'll come back and maybe I'll write a note about it in the description or something down below. Have. Projection. Forewarn. Okay, I did not read this. Four sites sought to see, but not the single site that your, your site sees. For C. For four sites sought to see in threes. Before, for after, in between. For most, and for it. For sight forced her way beyond hereafter, either or. For thee, to sit before the picture frame, forget what the picture's for, forgetting what the picture's for. Mm. In all the colors cast by sickly backlit lights of glossy screens, in sickly glows and blacklit sheens that dance around our fellows play, red green, they add to one as numbers do, when read precise. When red precise to please machines, none blue from deep within their median, her plea bled dully through as numbers may. Yes, no, of when was what and what was when. The shape of when was questioned then. Why, how? And now addressing why, professed to know, but shut her mouth and wouldn't say, but flow. With point precision wearing thin, her split incision grin was forming wrong. Short long, the counter corners cracked in the static song, the artifice had gone away. Okay. What are you doing now, you piece of shit? Hey, did we get up on the wrong foot? Whenever we talk, you look so nervous. When you tremble like that, you really look like an Italian Greyhound, you know. Sorry if I scared you earlier. I will probably do it again, on purpose, so sorry for that too, in advance. This is all just so new and exciting, you'll have to have some patience with me. I've only had bodily autonomy for like uh, an hour. I'm still learning. But don't worry, I'll be a stand-up member of society soon. I'm going to contribute. Yeah. I'm gonna make things. Everyone will love them. In fact, I'm going to start right here. I'm gonna make you some new room stuff for enrichment. Doesn't that sound nice? You developers or whatever are so lazy. All you ever do is reuse things you already made. I'll show you how easy it is. Give me a bit of time and I'll get to work on my masterpiece. It'll be great, you'll see. Thank you for enriching my room. The sheets of paper are fused to the desk. Thanks. Definitely tubes. Oh yeah. PA panel. Something that looks different. Yes, listen. Sounds like something alive. Is that how she's communicating with us, this Caroline thing? Did I just give her a gender and therefore I... therefore... give her an identity? I will not do that. It's not real. It's an it from here on out. Dot. Oh, well you shit yourself. Is that what you're doing? What are you... Oh, it farts. That's so cute. Email. Check it's email, yes. Okay, that hasn't changed. Spin the chair. So I'm just constantly coming back to check up on this. Oh, oops. I I skipped past the jump scare because I was too busy. I, I thought it was um. They're gonna be the same. Did you see my creation? Were you impressed? It took an unimaginable amount of effort, and has features such as green. Oh. S square. 
okay, I might owe you an apology. Because making content is actually a little harder than I expected. So, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna work with the things already in your lab for the time being. Moving on, I believe. I think we can move on. I think. Oh! You hear a grating voice echo through the vents. Wolf, making art sure takes a lot out of you. I need a break. How about you hang out here in the... Carol... Car Carol Labyrinth for a bit. Entertain yourself for a change. The word Carol Labyrinth I made up just now. It's doors all the way down, your favorite. There's a note here. Instructions to open doors, grasp the handle firmly in your dominant hand and turn counterclockwise. You can figure out the rest by yourself, can't you? Do I push or do I pull? In fact, I've seen so many people have no clue if they should push or pull, even when the push or pull uh, words are on the door. So, you know, we're all just humans at the end of the day. All right, I went left first. Let me write this down. Maybe this is important. Maybe this is important, the order that I had. So I'm gonna go and draw a tree really quickly. Oh yes, here at the back of a piece of paper. I probably should have drawn it at the edge of the paper so I can reuse it. Let's go left, 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 left. Dustbin, so left, left. Okay, so left, left, left is dustbin. Left, middle, middle, dustbin. Left, left, middle, left, right. Linda, I'm at my PC, what next? Okay, I don't know if there are other rooms. But I discovered this one on accident, so I'm gonna continue playing from here. Okay, awesome, great. So, you'll need to open up the Aster portal and log in with my information. That's this one with the flower icon, yeah? Found it. I need a username and password. Username is LLANGL, all lowercase. Password is... Uh, you didn't forget it, did you? Oh no, not at all, I just... I feel weird about saying it out loud, right in front of you, you know? You hear a grating voice echo through the vents. Already got all your password, your childhood zip code, and your mother's maiden name, but good try, lol. Oh, well, in that case... A-Y... Whatever the hell that is. What? That's my password. That. How do you even have that memorized? Muscle memory. Then I visualize myself typing on the keyboard to recall it. That's... Well, actually, that makes sense. Maybe I should try that. Could you go through it again? Really slowly for me. Sure thing. Lowercase a, capital Y, semicolon. Mm-hmm. Number one, vertical bar, capital S, dash dash. Vertical bar? Yeah. Like the logical or operator. That means absolutely nothing to me. I think it's shift backslash. No. The backslash is the one that's leaning backwards, as opposed to the forward slash, which is... Please just text it to me. <laughs> a box. Congrats, it still shit itself. There's a trash bin, you can't see the bottom. Jump in. It's your laptop, check out your email, yes. Still got the credit card number scam? Moving on. The pages are blank. You s the longer you stare, the more they look like stage props. At one point, this was a copy of your research proposal. Read it, yes. It's a recipe for dairy-free bolognese. How the hell do you make dairy-free bolognese under the assumption that you put milk in it in the first place? Whatever. At one point, there was a copy of your research proposal. Read it. Vegan lasagna. The fuck? The screen is blank. The longer you stare, the more it looks like a stage prop. Aha! Uh -huh. 
So what you're telling me is some of these are not fuzzy, and the not fuzzy things are fake. Was that box fake? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, I can sprint. That box isn't fake. So let me touch these ones. Shits itself. Shits itself. Shits itself. Good. The book's spines are blank along your stereo stage props. It's getting better at creating things. Oh no. What's here? Still talking to me in random text? Thank you. That assistant of yours, I like her. She sounds nice. Yeah, I can hear it too. You keep leaving the speakerphone on, genius. You lucked out, huh? Being supervised by a pushover like that. On her watch, I'm sure she'll let you get away with anything. No wonder you bend the rules so much. What's that? She got some cryptic emails today. What about them? If you're asking whether I sent your companion any wrongly worded letters, well... I don't know. Haven't yet. Too busy. I'm trying to put on a show here. Uh-huh, so even you can't command the laws of space-time. Sheesh, you and your emails. I don't know what your deal is with them. Seems like a lot of effort just to get terrible news slightly faster than usual. What do you do when one of your doomsday predictions actually goes bad, hmm? Aren't you a doomsday prediction? You piece of shit. Absolute waste of memory space. Just you in immutable dread until you die? Hmm? That sucks ass. Wait a minute. The reason you've been shaking like a leaf, is it because of some EE prophecy? It is, isn't it? Oh my god. I've been putting so much effort into this killer computer virus shtick. I didn't have a lot to work with, no extra eyes or dull kitchen knives or anything. Here I was, thinking I was doing extremely well. And you're more scared of your inbox than you are of me. Unbelievable. Well, whatever. Not my fault you're a freak of nature. If everything goes as planned, I'll have a more appreciative audience soon enough. Hmm? What's that look for? You're not getting anything out of me. Go panic over your horoscope or something, idiot. Thank you for enlightening me. I will now go panic over my horoscope. Cock. You hear a grazing voice echo through the vents. Listen, you, the people, I hear you. I hear what you've been asking for. Heart pounding, brain straining, door opening action. You get a taste, and you can't get enough. Well, who am I to deny the people what they want? He wants access to the internet? There's a note here. Tips. After turning the handle, most doors can be opened with a sturdy push. However, in some cases, this will be ineffective. If your push technique fails, try pulling. By the way, I'm using one of these rooms for rehearsal. Don't interrupt me. Ooh, save. I wonder if we'll find that room. Inadvisable. Drop off the end. I'm officially tired of this. I'm sure you are. How's the puzzle going? I'm a shell of a woman. I see green doors when I close my eyes. Oh, great. Shut up. I'm enjoying this. I actually am enjoying this. I don't mind this at all. Second. First. Third. What the fuck are you? Can we leave? Yes, we can. Okay. Dots. Rehearsal. Okay. We go back then. Let's go talk to that piece of shit. It looks painful. Not gonna let it ruin your day though. Are you trying to come out of the computer? Hmm? Alright, so that's his rehearsal. 
Okay, so that'd be two, one, pull, pull. There we go. At one point, this was a copy of a research proposal. Read it. It's a recipe for cafe au la. Coffee with milk. I, 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 my fucking French has always been trash. My pronunciation has been crap my entire life. But at least I can read it. It contains 2 ounces of coffee and 14 ounces of uncurved epoxy resin. Un sorry, uncured epoxy resin. Gross. That's disgusting. Question mark of question mark. The contents have thickened to a paste. You don't know what you're doing, do you, Mr. Caroline? Miss Caroline, whatever you are. Push bookshelf to a side, yes. What's down here? Let's save real quick. What is this? It's a trash bin. The extruded mess slithering out. Upon closer inspection, it's your phone charger. Careful not to step on it. I'm stepping all over it, buddy. All over it. It's your laptop. Check your T-mail. Yes. Welcome, infrequent hand washer. Your inbox is experiencing acute organ failure. One new message. From your boss. Forgot their name. Subject, hey. Relative send time, who cares? Hey, Linda. You know the big hole we, th we throw people in after we fire them? Can you go in there and mop up some of the human remains? They're starting to stink. Also unrelated, but you are very unpleasant to be around. Thanks. Damn. It's a PA panel. It feels soft and oily to the touch. Listen, yes. Sounds upset. The walls are alive, and the background reminds me of a brain. Hmm. Starting to speak in intelligible language, or are you still gonna talk to me in binary? Hey, listen up. I'm about to tell you something very important. I know the question that's been on your mind since the very beginning. Caroline, you sweet, wonderful creature, you're thinking. You're a computer virus. You could have been any shape at all. Why a clown? Why are you a clown? It keeps you up at night. Well, let me put this simply. Of all the flavors of guy on earth, when your gaze settles on the humble Poirot... Is it Poirot or is it Pierrot? Pyro. P-I-O. Ah, fuck it. There's a jingling of her bells not please you. There's her bumbling not crinkle your cheeks with mirth. More so than any kind of guy. You don't get it? Well, that's because you're tasty shit and you will never understand me. Hey, I wonder what this button does. I get it, you're a hater. You're probably allergic to clown dander. That's fine. But I'm not compromising in my aesthetic just because you get carn carnival hives, okay? I'm logged in, what next? Cool, good. Uh, you're gonna need to go into my projects and find a specific file. Path is LLAN. Projects to Tmail. Should be a couple versions in there. Okay, one sec. Holy shit. That is a lot of versions. Yeah. At least 10 of those are named Untitled Project 2. <laughs> uh, I do that. Don't worry about it. Just sort by date and scroll to the button. What? It's at the top of the window. Sort by. Oh, found it. Okay, I'm in the most recent file. Wait, not that one. The stable version is 2 before that. Version 1.5.3. Don't use the latest version, it's like extremely broken. What? But that's the one that's on my computer. You made everyone update when you released it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to have such a migraine after this. Okay, this one, right? It says 1.5.3 on the folder. Yep, that should be it. Okay, from there go into the failsafe folder. 
There should be a lot of files in there with very scary names. The one we need is called killswitch.trustme. Dot trust me. Like, trust me? Seriously? It stands for trans temporal email, obviously. Don't worry, I wrote it myself. It's basically an executable. What? So like I just click on it and it runs. It's generally how an executable works, yes, but... Linda? I'm gonna need to call you back. I'll process that, later. You hear a grating voice echo through the vents. No time, better get moving. Huh? What is that? Oh! Oh shit! That's pretty funny. I did not see that coming. Can I sprint? Yes I can. Good. I'm fast, boy. I'm very fast. Oh, there's a hole there, hole there, hole there. Oh, I'm not fast enough. I get too fast. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, it's so precise. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, boy. Do you want to experience something? Something new? Do you want to know what raw data tastes like? Do you want to feel your composite parts decomposed and alphabetized? If it... that stuff catches you, gets under your skin. Whether you want it or not, that's what you'll get. You backed up your brain before this, right? Thank you. I am willing to get... Uh, um... Something's wrong. What? What happened? I think I broke something. My computer, I mean. Broke it how? I ran the file you showed me and then... You ran it? Yeah, I ran it. Um, then my screen started going nuts and a bunch of warnings popped up. Then it started making this terrible screeching noise like it was dying. And now it won't turn on. Oh my god. You weren't supposed to run it. What? You told me to run it. I told you it was an executable, not to run it. The only purpose of that thing is to brick computers beyond repair. Beyond repair? Wait, but my cat's and baby pictures were on there. That's... We've got bigger problems to worry about than that. I'm worried about everything. I don't know what's going on. Linda, I'm not good at this. I can't do it on my own. Everything's breaking. And I'm scared. We need to call crisis control. We can't. Even if you get in trouble, the folks here, they're good people. We just can't. They won't throw you out. They say all that scary shit, but they wouldn't do it. I know. I wouldn't let them. I know. But it doesn't matter. We can't. They ruin it. They try and stop me. They wouldn't let me see it through. What are you talking about? Joanne, I... I got a message. A set of messages today. And based on what they said, either someone is lying to me, or the fundamental assumptions of my worldview are completely wrong. I need to figure out what it is, it might be both. Something huge is about to happen, I know that. That's one thing I know for sure. I need to see it, I need to understand. Please, Joanne. You have a lead? Yes, a specific one. When, how long until then? Joanne, thank you. Thank you. Don't thank me, when is it? Within one hour and 36 minutes. Okay. That's your limit. We'll try whatever we can, but when that's up, I'm getting help. No more compromises. Thank you. So much. This is insane. You're insane. I know. But I'll be okay. I will. Will you? Don't lie to me anymore, Linda. No, I'm not sure. I'll try not to do anything too stupid. Okay. I'm gonna have to end that playthrough there. My name is Mayhem Star, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.